Hello, my name is Leah. Today I'm going to be reorganizing my bookshelves, which I am very excited to do. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. I've just kind of like, every time I've been in this room, I just kind of like look over at my bookshelves like something's not right. Yesterday I tried to film a different video to be uploaded today and everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. I spent hours <laughs> trying to make this work and then eventually I was like, you know what? No, I'm not. Mm, I'm done. So I decided to rearrange my bookshelves instead because I just, I feel like I need to do something uh, that will lift my spirits after yesterday. <laughs> A bookshelf reorganization video was actually the first video that I posted on my channel like forever ago. It was a lot of fun to make. I love watching these videos because I find them to be very satisfying and so I thought that I would bring you along today as I reorganize the two bookshelves that we have in our house. So first order of business of course is to empty the shelves so let's get started. Okay, I have all of the books out. I made myself a little pathway here. But here are all of the books. I tried to keep them generally separated out. I've got all the games up there. Some random stuff that I found in this bottom shelf. What I'm trying to figure out now is how I want to do this. I know I want like some stuff down here that I like looking at because I kind of want to be able to sit in front of my bookshelves to film some videos and I'm wondering if I should turn this into the textbook area. We could each have like a little achievement shelf I guess if that makes sense and then maybe some books could go up there or maybe some games. That could work. I think I'm gonna go with that for now and just start you know, putting stuff on the shelves.
next day, obviously, as I am in different clothes, I have officially finished the bookshelf and honestly, I am so excited about how this turned out. I kind of decided to take the evening, see how I felt about it, and I do really love the way that it turned out, so time for a tour. First of all, I wanted to show these shelves real quick just because over here is where I put some of the books that I couldn't quite fit onto the shelf. It's just my Percy Jackson books and then my Sisters Grimm series. And then over here in this bucket are the rest of the books that I couldn't fit. And that is um, the Left Behind series and the Iron King. I don't know what this series is actually called, but the Iron King books by Julie Kagawa. Then over to this bookshelf, I'm so excited by how this turned out. Up top, I was able to fit all of our games. And then in the two little shelves, I was able to give us each kind of a space for all of our textbooks and for our degrees to be put as kind of like a little achievement shelf. I was actually going to put Cameron's on top because he is taller than me, so it kind of made sense for his to be closer to his eye line. But then I realized that this shelf is actually bigger than that one. And because he has so many giant books, it just made more sense for his to go right there. I also added back here this red binder. Um, it's kind of hidden away, but this is the first draft of the first book that I wrote. So I thought that it kind of deserved a place on the achievement shelf. Then underneath here, this is pretty much the same as it was before. We have some of Cameron's uh, textbooks over here some binders and folders, some journals, and then just some random stuff. Uh, I was able to clear out this space by putting those books in here. And so now we have a nice little extra spot of storage. And then the grand event, the large bookshelf with all of our books. We still have Mr. Goose up there. Up top on this shelf, we have some fantasy and then I guess technically some dystopia. Next we have a nonfiction shelf. This is the classic side. This is some of Cameron's nonfiction books. Lots of World War II stuff in there. Under that we have Harry Potter and Sarah J Mass, and that is all there is to be said about this shelf. Underneath that we have contemporary. We have a, the only thriller that I own. A couple minnow grade, a couple general fiction, and then dystopian paperbacks. Minus the Vampire Academy books. Those ones just fit in right there. I don't like this gap right here, but that just means I have to buy another book, so. Is it really a problem to have? I don't think so. Then the shelf after that is some more fantasy. I kind of actually, what ended up happening was fantasy, not fantasy, fantasy, not fantasy, fantasy, not fantasy which was not the original plan when I set out to do this, but obviously since they are all within the same genre, a lot of fantasy books end up having kind of a darker toned spine. And so it just looked a lot better to have all of those separated out by like some lighter colors. And then at the very bottom, this one's another kind of mix, but it makes a lot more sense to me than it used to. Over here, we have all Christian nonfiction except for The Shack. That one's technically fiction. I say technically, it is fiction, not just technically. A lot of these were books that Cameron and I needed for our gen eds because we both went to, well, we went to the same school, but we went to a Christian school, so some of our gen eds were like Bible classes and stuff. And then we have some more of my nonfiction books, and then my Rick Riordan and the Chronicles of Narnia, just because that's kind of where the Chronicles of Narnia fit. There's a little gap in here too, but again, that's just more room for expansion. But that is my new bookshelf setup. You will probably be seeing this angle a little bit more now that I actually have a background that I like. This definitely um, was therapeutic for me. But let me know what you think. Did I do a good job? Actually, I don't care. I know I did a good job and I like them and that's all that matters. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.